Hello friends, welcome back. So let's see how this uh, user trailing slash admits app. So in my copy this one and search here. So here in the init, uh, I think initopia, init, met, init method, uh, you can see the user trailing slash and just checking whether the permalink structure have the trailing slash or not. If it's not, then it will return false or true. Okay, and based on that, uh, this property will be initialized and this property is used to, to consider whether when we call the get permalink function or get term link function whether the trailing slash needs to be added or not so that will decide from this uh, function okay and uh, there are another property which we want to set uh, is um, about the front right yeah dollar front so if i go with the front search okay uh, go through here yeah here so in the permalink structure whatever uh, before the percentage so here the before the percentage whatever uh, first percentage whatever uh, uh, keyword have been static keyword used for the url that will become a front okay and this used uh, in all the permalink structure if we have passed with front equal to true so we have seen that example in the register post type and the register taxonomy right so similarly the front will be uh, initialized okay and there are multiple functions so go through in the outline uh, for example for example there is a flush rewrite rule so we have called the flush rules here okay so flush rules will what will do that it will uh, update the rewrite rules empty because all the rewrite rules saved into the options table and then it will call this WP rewrite rule function to generate all the rewrite rules. Okay, so let's see, go through that. And this plus rules will be done only after the WP loaded action because WP loaded before uh, WP loaded action will execute when the WordPress will uh, WordPress has been loaded, init action have been executed, pass request uh, executed. So finally means all that all things has been loaded uh, in the WordPress like itself core itself and third party plugins and everything. Okay, and uh, like generally when we want to add a custom rewrite rules we will do one init action okay and that init action have execute before the wp loaded so by uh, when the wp loaded action execute everything has been initialized and, and loaded and everything so on this action or after this action we can safely flush the rewrite rules or generate the rewrite rules okay so as a developer we have to keep in mind that if you want to add a custom rewrite tool so if you want to modify the rewrite rules we have to do before the wp loaded uh, action okay so in the wp loaded action uh, it will update the options uh, empty so that uh, when it's called wp rewrite rules so in the rewrite rules it will get the options if it's empty then it will generate the rewrite rules by calling this function rewrite rules if you go to the rewrite rules um, then uh, you if it will check whether permalink structure have been set or not so if the plane have been set then the permalink structure is empty then the no rewrite rules will be generated because we are not using the custom URL structures we are just using the plane with the query pairs okay and uh and if it's set then it will generate all the rewrite rules for different different uh structure like comment uh, then post rewrite rules and everything and they also provide the filters so for post rewrite they call in so generate rewrite rules function use where they are passing the permalink structure and this is the uh, mask they have been used okay and uh, they take uh, have they uh, filter apply the filter post rewrite rules and this it will generate for the uh, post okay then this is the date rewrite so it will generate the rewrite tool for the date so it will get a date perma structure so if you call this date perma structure function then it will return this perma structure from here okay uh, and uh, and based on this structure they will uh, they will execute it and based on this front property they will add a front value okay so either that articles will, will be the front okay and similarly go back here okay and similarly if you see for the root which is like a slash uh, we started with the slash then comments then the search structure okay so uh, it will get a permalink structure for the search and then 
uh, they will generate it. So if you go to the search promoting structure, there the search base have been used and search base can be changed through this property. Okay, so here like root slash search base slash search slash the percentage search which will replace by the actual search keyword uh, entered by the user. Okay, so this way the permalink structure have been generated using this generate rewrite rules and they have provided various various filters. So we will also go through the filters. Okay, for author rewrite similarly go to the author structure uh, based on the front. Uh, there's as less articles we have seen for the authors like articles less authors less than my name or uh, Chandra which is the author's nice name right so if the front has been set then that also used okay uh, so programmatically we can change this structure as well okay and based on that it will generate the rewrite rule so let's go through this some of the rewrite rules for example let's say author rewrite rule which provide the author rewrite rules filter so using this filter you can change the uh, rewrite rule. So, for example, here in the re in this class file, which is I have created for the demo, so I will add a filter here. Okay. So, in the function, um, I will add a rules, or we can say a rewrite rules. Okay. And then add it here and unprint rewrite rules. So now this uh, filter will only be executed when uh, the data you know, in the options table, there is no rewrite rules form. Okay, so to test this filter, what we have to do is that uh, I have to, uh, okay, this is working. So, and so no need to uh, like flush the changes, but uh, yeah, before before uh, flushing the change, uh, you have to, uh, you can you can use this filter my bad sorry you can use this filter and we don't maybe probably to update in the database we may have to uh flush the rewrite rules either by programmatically or or change the or by saving the changes into the permalink settings okay and these are the rewrite rules so articles which is the word front okay so and then author which is our base and then these are the uh regex uh, expression used to match the author's name or author's nice name and then there are other things like uh, for pagination for embed or for feed they have been uh, the rules have been created and how this index.php and with this query where or this query where have been used so in in another video we will see how this rewrite tools works okay uh, like how based on this uh, uh rewrite rule and the regex expression how this index.php and the author name query will have been used by the wordpress to identify the request okay so we will we will learn that in the another video but similarly uh, you can uh, you can update or filter the rewrite rule for page for post and many other things for categories uh, for category post format post tag every custom taxonomy we have okay or the default taxonomy sorry default taxonomy and at the end this generate rewrite tool action will be executed so if you want to do perform something when the rewrite tool is generated then then you can use this action okay and then finally the rewrite tool array which will be a filter or uh, to filter all the rules not the specific but if you want list of all the rules and you want to modify you want to modify their positions because um WordPress will start matching the current request through the rewrite rules from the top. So from the top, it will start matching in, in one of it. If mismatch, then for the rewrite rules won't be a uh, match. Okay. And then, then match based on that match rewrite uh, rule, uh, WordPress perform the request and display the, display the content in the front end accordingly. Okay. So if you want to change the position, then you can use this rewrite rules array. So if I click, uh, go to the here okay and uh, refresh it so all the rewrite rules you can find so you have to change the position so from the top to bottom so it will start from the top so if you want that uh, some of the rewrite rules are not working okay and if you want to change the priority then you have to unset it and then keep and uh, take that rule at the top okay so that uh, your uh, your rewrite will have a top priority in the, like when the WordPress matching all the rewrite rules against the re current request. Okay, so this way you can use this um, rewrite rules add a uh, filter. Okay, so all these filters are there, so you can go through this one by one and learn more about it. Okay, 
so and uh, so rewrite tools has been generated through the rewrite tools function and uh, this generate rewrite tools will call to create all the rules okay so um now let's go back uh what are the other things remaining so uh plus rules we have seen yeah category tag base we have changed the base right so it will get from the options table and then update it if it's different so if you want to change it programmatically the category base and tag base then you can use this set category base and set tag base to update it okay so these are the few other functions you can also set permalink structure programmatically so if you uh, like uh, uh, currently the user can update through the permalink settings if you want to modify it programmatically then you can use the set permalink structure okay and it will update the permalink structure and it will be reflected into the permalink settings and this is the action will be executed and that's why like going through these core based classes you will come to know about the various properties and various functions and methods and then how it's working behind the scenes what are the actions and filters executing and uh, uh, once we know about these filters and actions probably it may help to achieve some use cases during the development or complex uh, like complex if there is any complex uh, use cases are there and if you want to modify the url structure or like when we migrate from one uh, site from non wordpress site to wordpress site and then if you want to keep the uh, old site url structure as it is in the wordpress then uh, using this wpdi class using this rewrite api you can you can uh, uh, create the old url structure as it is and 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 you don't have to add redirects or anything so you can you can create the url structure as you want or as per the old site okay but for that uh we the developers should know about this rewrite api and how it's working okay so yeah so yeah that's all i think about the wp rewrite api there are some function like add rewrite tag or or add rewrite tool so we will go through that functions uh uh, in the another video but this is all all about uh, giving the overview of the wpd right class okay yeah um thanks for watching so uh, after watching this video you can go through it uh wpd right class and go through each and every class and properties so it will be helpful for you to understand and having some more in-depth knowledge about wpd right and probably it will help you in the development okay yeah thanks for watching um see you on the next one Bye bye